Did you hear about the fight that happened in the kitchen? Yeah, I heard the fish got battered. <laughs> Dry jokes, but yeah, what we are going to be doing today is reviewing a great tool that I've come across recently called Keyword Chef. I've actually got it on the computer just behind me. You can't really see it on the screen there. But what we're going to be doing is going through this tool and giving it an overhaul to see the quality of the keywords that it pulls out, how user-friendly the tool is, the price ranges, and everything in between. So if you are excited or interested in this, then let's get into the video. Okay, so this is the tool on the front end which looks pretty good. It looks nice, fun and friendly and simple. There isn't much going on, to be honest. And the reason why is, as you can see from the text on the front, they highlight the fact that they're not about having all the bloat and all the fluff that most tools will have. They're just simply trying to find you good, high quality keywords that you can go out for and rank and make money and bring traffic in. So that's all it's about. Okay, so we've got four key things that they identify the tool as being useful for. So clear search intent, smart wildcard search, automatic save the reports, and real-time SERP analysis, okay? So that's just search engine result pages, the Google result pages analysis, okay? So it gives you a real-time report of that. Now, the reason why this tool is so good in particular for informational sites is the fact that it finds keywords through autocomplete. So if you're using the alphabetical soup method, then you're gonna be able to cycle through those keywords a lot faster by using a tool like this. So it's very helpful for that. You've got Ron Stefanski, got Carl Broadbent there. So if you wanna have a look at a few examples of the tool in action, you can see that they've found some keywords here for cast iron skillet, best X for chef's review, pizza crust, and can you cook asterisk in the oven. So when, when they're doing an asterisk, what that means is it throws in a wild card. So it brings out, it will explore like all the variations of keywords that could go within this phrase, okay? So as you can see, it's replacing the asterisk with a steak, bacon, burgers, hamburgers, sausages, corn, brats, frozen chicken, so on and so forth. The list goes on. So you can see that this is identified as a wild card. It's got 337 results here. And then we've got the date when that search was made. Now, if you wanted to add credits to this, because um, that's how it works, it doesn't work on a subscription basis. This works on a per search basis. So one result is equal to one credit. Okay, so you can buy credits in bulk. You can see here, you know, only need one report, then the starter plan is perfect. You can get like a $20 pack and it gives you 1200 credits. That's what I just purchased now. $100. $250 and you get 50,000 credits, so on and so forth. So this could do like an entire website. You can do your entire keyword research. And why this is so beneficial to bloggers is the fact that you can kind of build a brand new website and do all the keyword search analysis uh, right from the beginning of the site and then just have a bunch of keywords that you're gonna target over time. Now, what I really do like about this tool is the fact that when it gives you the keywords, it doesn't give you all the other data that tools give you that could be potentially giving you inaccurate data. So if we look at this, like my sister, I'm gonna be doing a video upcoming building a cooking blog. So what, what we're looking at is all these different types of low competition keywords. I'm actually gonna be doing a search analysis for a friend of mine that wants me to run an audit on their blog, a technical audit and do some keyword research. So what we're gonna do today is an actual over the shoulder keyword search analysis to see some keywords that we can potentially find. So the first thing we're going to have to do is click discover and you see there's not really any more tabs to get confused or anything like that there's only two it gives you search tips so this is giving you the types of searches that you can make okay so broad searches narrow searches wildcard searches negative words that you may want to avoid and how you would implement those with a minus what we're going to be talking about is one of the things is going to be lead pages click funnels and sales funnels overall. You can also import keywords I just saw here. And there is a Facebook group of where you can uh, join and network with others who are using the tool as well. So I do believe this tool was created by a friend of mine, Ben Adler. I haven't actually been in contact with him since reviewing this tool. So I'll be sure to reach out to him and uh, maybe he can give us an insight to a few things that I may have not covered in this video as well. Okay, so what I love right off the bat with this tool is before you head out and use your credits, it gives you a quick insight to the potential keywords that you may be able to get hold of. Question keywords, there are 16. It has discovered 
two best buy keywords, 38 comparison keywords, 25 how to's and 11 alternatives. Okay, so what we're gonna look at here, you can see these are some of the sample keywords from the actual category. So if we go to best, it's actually just given us the straight two best because there are only two available. From the comparison, we can see, okay, lead pages versus X, Y, Z. Yeah, these are the kind of keywords we really want. And then uh, we've got sample keywords and alternatives. Okay, so lead pages alternative, lead pages free alternative, so on and so forth. So what's really handy about having an alternative tab here is the fact that if you're trying to create product focus articles, you can quickly use a competitor's product inside of this search and then bring up all the alternative keywords so people who are looking for that competitor's product alternatives and then promote the product that you're an affiliate for so it's absolutely brilliant so we are actually going to get these keywords so straight away we can see that it's categorized all of the keywords into questions best buys comparisons how to's and alternatives it gives you the average search volume the potential highs of these searches and the potential lows okay and then you can go off and manually check these in google by just clicking the the button here okay so that's absolutely brilliant so what we're going to look at here is how much does lead pages cost now this is going to be something that you're going to get the actual brand pop up for because there's no other <laughs> authority that's going to be better describe this and the cost of lead pages than lead pages themselves okay so this is not a good example to uh, qualify so something like this is pretty good it's a long tail keyword according to this it says zero searches but i take that with a pinch of salt it's probably still some search volume behind this what's the difference between lead pages and the click funnels so a lot of the time this kind of thing you would really find in a click funnels versus lead pages type comparison article this would probably be a subtopic inside of it so i would put this inside of an existing article opposed to creating an article for it completely we'll just take a look and see what's up there so you can see yeah that exactly what i just said um, the types of articles that are popping up for this are these articles okay so then they've got these as subtopics within their article so there are some authorities popping up here got evergreen profits okay dr52 and then they've got pretty much in-depth comparisons of of the two tools this wouldn't be a low competition keyword uh, as i would identify okay so what's really good here is we can see our sales funnels legit do sales funnels really work does wix have sales funnels okay so wix may be the ones who answer that learn how to build sales funnels can you create a sales funnel with wix let's have a look and see what's up there if wix is not there then we might be able to compete here okay so this is a low competition keyword so wix is in number two Okay, so what is the marketing funnel? And then we've got uh, how to make a Wix sales funnel. Okay, so this company here is a DR0 and uh, they've created uh, this blog and ranked uh, number one for this because they've given an in-depth article on how to make a sales funnel with Wix. So you can see that there is potential here and this does bring up quite a few uh, low competition keywords. So let's have a look at the best buys and see what happens. Best books on sales funnels. Okay, so this might have a bunch of books. So again, look, we've got a DR1 up in number one. I would imagine this is something that gets searched quite a bit. And the reason why is because there's still a high amount of people that prefer to read by book, you know, so there are going to be a lot of people that are going to be looking for specific books on sales funnels. So this would be a great way to uh, potentially create a list of uh, books that you would recommend on funnels on sales funnels however you could also have like a, a quick ebook or something that you give away for free and they can opt in for that and you can collect leads on a page like this and then through your email funnel you could send people back to the website down in your series but one thing i can see is that it does bring up great keywords so you can see that i had a few reports myself and one in particular that i'm going to be using for my dog website what are poodle skirts uh, how much does a toy poodle weigh okay so that might be inside of a poodle review can a poodle eat banana that's something typically i just know is probably low competition we've got here akc so we're not gonna outrank them but let's have a look in positions two and three and see what's happening in bora pets which is income school site okay so that's up in number two which is quite interesting and they're outranking akc on this particular article here regarding okay but that's because it's specifically well this is very vague and it's about can dogs eat bananas not so much 
much can a poodle eat bananas again like they're not specifically talking about poodles this one is but it's a dr zero so there is potential to squeeze up in the top three uh, for this particular keyword i would say why are poodles so expensive okay so that's another thing we could check out and we've got a dr zero popping up right in the top and then a dr one in positions two just based on authority um, you can see if you create a good enough piece of content you're going to be able to compete with these guys clearly he's been following income school or something because it's again he's using their theme akabadu this looks like a very short article so one of the things that i identified straight away from looking at this is um he doesn't include information on what can affect the price of a poodle so there are different things like depending on the state that you're living in time of year economy all these different things that he hasn't included so straight away there's gaps of where we could improve this article and improve upon this and create a better resource than what he has here so that's a great resource but we could do better seeing some forums in the top 10 there and we've got how much are poodles okay so this is not specifically of why they're expensive in bora pets again here funny enough and they've created um like an, an ultimate resource on poodles the cost of them life expectancies and temperament these are the, a, a lot of the time the types of articles i create they've got some independent research here it's a full-fledged in-depth resource here around poodles the cost of them and everything about their characteristics i'm gonna get to work on the reports um if you do have any questions regarding the tool then be sure to leave your questions below as i said um there's a facebook group here you can join you leave your thoughts on whether you think this is a great tool or one of the best tools for informational sites if you are building a site where you're doing a lot of link building and product focused blog posts then i don't really think that this would be the best tool for you i would specifically say this is better for people who are using that alphabetical soup type method and that's where you're really going to find uh, the best advantages to using this tool okay so as with always if you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace